<laughs> this neckline is too small for my son, so I'm going to widen it by cutting off the hood and replacing it with wide bottleneck band. Start by cutting very close to the seam line. I'm cutting one layer at a time in order to get really close to the edge. Cut off these neck bindings too. This hood is made up with one piece of fabric with a seam in the center back. So I was able to cut out one continuous piece of neckband from the front of the hood. If the hood is made up in two pieces with the seam that comes all the way down to the front, the neckband can be cut out in two pieces with the seam at the sides. I opened up the back seam to get a flat piece. I marked two inches from the fold for the cutting line. The band will have a center back seam and will be stretched to fit the neckline. We need to open up the fold and sew here, but first we need to determine the length of the band. Wrap the fabric around your unsuspecting toddler's head and the mark where the seam needs to be. Add about a half inch seam allowance and cut off the excess. You can use regular straight stitch for the seam. Open up the seam allowance and fold the band in half. Now is a good time to test the band again to make sure it fits over your kid's head. Align the center back of the neckband with the center back of the sweatshirt. The neckband will be smaller than the neckline of the shirt, so try to distribute the length evenly. I usually start with the center back and then the center front, and then move the clips around in between those two points several times until I get the look I'm happy with. Here I'm using the serger to attach the neckline seam. You can also use zigzag stitches on a regular sewing machine. I'm cutting off about a half inch as I serge, but don't do this. This was a huge mistake and it made the neckline way too big. Don't cut off any seam allowances when you're attaching the neckband. This is how it looks after attaching the neckband. Try on your toddler if possible and make necessary adjustments. <coughs> like I said, I made the neckline way too big, so I ended up unpicking the serger seam and made the neckband much smaller and a little narrower to get this look. 
The final look is not the bottleneck look I was initially going for, but at least now my son can put it on. I love thrifting kids' clothes and fixing it up to give the clothes a second life. Sometimes you can get a really good deal on a quality item if you know how to do some easy fixes. Like when I replaced the damaged faux fur trim on a kid's winter jacket. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in my future videos.